因为我姐姐住住住住她的家嘛，我就跟我大姐住在一起嘛，所以就认识她咯。We were nurses, and we met in the hospital. Um, we were on night duty in the emergency room. On the fifth night or or seven nights, I remember I went up to her for the first time. I spoke to her and I said. Well, nursely, uh, someday you're going to be my wife. And she thought I was crazy. Yeah. We met in the university. I was one year senior. Because of that, uh, we were also in the same, you know, same faculty, the arts and social science. So most of the time we met and that's how we got connected. When I first met Alice, uh, she was uh, a bit bowler. And so when I first came to know her, and she mentioned about bowling and I was like, wow, bowling, what is bowling? But then because I want her, uh, so I quickly uh, uh, built an interest in it and go and learn how to bowl. We met at uh, a dinner, a gathering. Uh, get, uh, dinner? Your friend encouraged you, right? Yes. Your friend. Yes. Your very good friend. Yes. And your very good friend is a she. Yes. What did she say? You remember? She says, Tekong, why don't you ask for her phone number? Yeah? Right. And uh, anyway, that's what you did. Mm. Obediently, right? Yeah, obediently. <laughs> well, that's that. That he's a simple man. That's a sloppy guy. Very um, sociable and has leadership. She came along and from Hua Chong, very cocky. Very He wore this high heel sandals with his uh, file underneath his arm. And the worst thing is, on that day, he wore this pen that has got a little hole on the back and that was the first time I saw him on the back and I said, Oh boy, what a sloppy guy wearing things like that to you. It's a bit tall, right? I saw ma. <laughs> In the end, I invited her for a tea, you know, one of the faculty tea. And somehow I said, hey, not so bad, doctor. It's like that. I like her. You knew that You, you need to have things that will interest you, like maybe set up a home and then, then comes the children uh, that will be <laughs> oh, really oh, occupied. Yeah, 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 very yeah. interesting. If I feel bored, when he's upstairs, I come downstairs. When he's downstairs, I go upstairs. Sometimes <laughs> Whatever I'm involved in, she tries to get herself, you know, uh, to follow me also. So because of that, we we, we find this continuous linkage uh, in in the common areas of our lives, and I think that's what keeps us together. Not a big issue. We know how to manage the boredom. The point is that we are not bored with with each other. I think very important is that we do things together. The most wonderful thing about her is uh, uh, her caring nature. He's uh, quite compassionate, kind and always have time for others. I love him for his simplicity, for his honesty, for his love for the family. I think he's very comical. I like him. She's my, uh, really my helper in every sense of the word. I think my wife is very sacrificial. I, I'm not so sure if I can do what she does for me. It makes me laugh uh, because I'm, 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 I think I'm a more serious person. In my heart, I think my wife is a person who is a person. He tends to run ahead of me, you know, in many ways. 
How do you know that I want it this way, you know? He doesn't like me to... Yeah, to nag at him. He brushed his teeth five times a day. So the mirror will have a lot of white dots. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I felt that she should uh, not be too, uh, not micromanage, you know. Yeah, I think he's sometimes too micromanaging that, in that sense. She sometimes takes a little bit more time to be on time. You know, for me, it's just exactly what the opposite of what she says. I'm a perfectionist, I'm meticulous, and she's laser fair, and she's very untidy. If you come to my house, you'll know which part of my house belongs to me. And you look at the other part, you know it belongs to her. My desk is clean, her desk is all messy. And she always takes things and never returns. When I ask him a question, what would you like to eat? I want him to say what he wants to eat. But he asked me a question. Same question. Same question. That is what I don't like about him. So every time when he says that, I will say, Huh? I ask you a question, you ask me a question. So I'm going to ask you again and you ask me again. There's no end to things. I don't like him. <laughs> Sweetheart, if you live to be a hundred years, I want to live one day less because I never want to live without you. Oh. I love you. Finish. Yeah. I love you. Mm. And um, we will work together to eternity. <laughs> I think we have many more good years coming. I think we can keep it uh, as good as it has been, if not better, simply because uh, we are connected to God. You will remain faithful. To, the to, life. to God, to God, to, to God, God, to God. God. And uh, you remember <laughs> to say your grace before meal. Yeah. You will do everything yourself. Yeah. I don't have to ask you, Daddy, have you read your Bible? Okay. Okay. Be yourself, be good, continue to be a good husband and, and father. <laughs> if I have to. If I have a chance to do all over again, I will still marry you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> she will still choose me, you know, this old man here. Yeah. All right. <laughs>